Well, um, it was a film uh, called Dirty Harry uh, from the 1970s, uh, Clint Eastwood. And uh, it wasn't so much Clint Eastwood, it was, uh, there was a psychopath in that uh, film called Scorpio who was thoroughly unpleasant. Uh, so unpleasant, in fact, that I, I can barely watch the film. Uh, I don't think I've seen it since, but uh, he was um, a man who showed no empathy, uh, no conscience of any kind. Uh, and I suddenly started thinking about what is it that creates these uh, truly dangerous individuals? Is it, is it biology? Is it, uh, is it circumstance? Is it dissociation or trauma at an early age? And that's really what started me thinking about what factors come together to create serial killers, for instance. And that's just one part of my subject. Well, it was a bit of a circuitous route, really. Um, psychology wasn't um, available as an A-level when I was studying the, in the kind of 70s and 80s. Uh, and so I, uh, I studied a lot of poetry and creative writing, but one of the greatest psychologists actually said, Freud, he said, wherever I go, I find a poet has been there before me, uh, which I thought made a lot of sense and still does. So I came back to psychology uh, at university. Uh, and studied it a little bit at university, uh, but then realised that it was where my calling kind of lay. And so I went on to uh, do a master's in psychology at Leeds, which is where it really took off and where I started to really develop a, a love for the subject. I do like philosophical psychology, uh, but also uh, criminal psychology, I think, is, is something the students as well find particularly interesting. Again, um, is it a part of the brain uh, which kind of disconnects, which enables people to, to do these despicable things? Uh, there's been a lot of research, for instance, by a psychologist called uh, Professor Rain, who looks at the subcortical area of the brain called the amygdala, uh, which um, is slightly, slightly less grey matter in the amygdala for people who, who take life, who commit murder. And this is close to the limbic system in the brain, which is to do with conscience and empathy. So this might be a biological explanation. But again, what makes psychology interesting is that it's not just one factor that comes together to create these people. It's, it's many factors such as a poor childhood, poor parenting skills, uh, disattachment, dissociation, like I say, from an early age. Um, and it's OK to kind of have fantasies about zapping your enemies when you're four or five years old, but to take them into adulthood is, uh, is problematic. I had a lot of jobs uh, when I left university, including working on a building site, uh, pizza deliverer um, in Bessica, which was a, I think it was one of the largest housing estates in Europe at that time. But this is before SatNav, so a lot of people got cold pizzas. Um, but then I got offered a um, a job, an acting job actually, um, a professional production of uh, Romeo and Juliet, directed by Michael Rudman at at the Crucible, but that very, very same day, I was offered a lecturing job um, in Leeds, and I took that, and I have not regretted that decision at all. For the last 27 years, I have been delivering teaching psychology at all levels, and it's been an absolute delight. In particular, about at Hill House, I think the, the, the students are, are alert, perceptive, insightful. Um, the class size is particular at A level, um, are very manageable, uh, anything between kind of 7 and 11 students, which is, is, is always great, always an advantage. They're just great company, the sixth form at Hill House. They're a lot cleverer than I am, uh, a lot funnier, and um, they always give answers and insights which haven't occurred to me, even though I've been teaching the subject for 25 years, they come to it fresh. And that freshness um, is always something which I can and take on board and uh, take the subject in a different direction. I have a lot of interests outside of uh, outside of work. I, I like to write. Um, I've written a few novels. I also uh, really, really enjoy playing music. I was um, Doncaster Busker of the Year in 2012, which is something I'm very proud of. Uh, it enabled me to play live to the nation on, on Radio 4. My dog actually was the first dog in the country to get his, uh, get his busking license. He was a very talented dog. I also um, love martial arts and have, uh, when I was younger, competed in two world championships at welterweight. Um, and almost decided at one point I was thinking about becoming a martial arts instructor but uh, decided against it. Yeah, I love, I love writing, uh, creative writing. I, I studied creative writing for two years at, at, in, uh, in Wales under a, a gentleman called uh, Tony Curtis 
not that Tony Curtis, uh, another Tony Curtis. He was, he was a good poet, very good poet. And uh, creative writing is something that I've done um, ever since. And I enjoy teaching a little bit of English here as well at Hill House. Um, again, the, the students, uh, or the pupils rather, in year seven and eight always uh, write poems and narrative pieces that always give me ideas because they, they come to it unfettered uh, and undiluted, if you like. Their ideas are, are very pure, and I like that.